Madison Square Garden Productions presents a 15-round bout for the lightweight championship of the world between the champion, Ken Buchanan of Edinburgh, Scotland, and the challenger, Roberto Duran of Panama City, Panama. The principals in this championship event for the evening coming from Panama City, Panama, 132 one quarter pounds even. He's wearing blue trunks, white stripes. Roberto Duran. Roberto Duran. The champion from Edinburgh, Scotland, 100. 33, one half pounds. He's wearing flat chunks. 10, 15, 15 miles for the lightweight championship of the world. His crown on the line, and he's guaranteed at least $125,000 for the fight. The challenger is working on a percentage. Buchanan with that darting left jab. He's great at slipping punches. The scoring is on a rounds basis in New York with a supplementary point system. That is not scored a knockdown. And yes, it is. Johnny scores it a knockdown. Well, we'll ask him about that later. Let's count it as a knockdown. They're wearing eight ounce gloves. Scoring a rounds basis with a supplementary point system if the rounds are even on an official's card. Now Duran, the challenger, is just dynamite with his right hand. Buchanan's the boxer. And the challenger is a little over anxious. It was almost Buchanan scoring the knockdown. Duran is certainly trying to improve on his nine one-round knockouts here. He's throwing everything. <laughs> Round one is almost half over. Buchanan, who is adept at slipping punches, will have to watch himself. He's in with no cream puff. Duran has scored heavily in the last exchange. Duran's best punch is his right. But he's got a good left hook and only a fair jab. Buchanan has all the guns in the arsenal. About a minute to go in round one. It's scheduled for 15. Solid punches by Buchanan. Buchanan is a slow starter as a rule. Duran keeping the pressure on. And Duran is the aggressor. 10 seconds to go in round one. Round two. Round two of this 15 round bout. Duran keeping the pressure on the champion. And Buchanan is keeping him off with the jabs. Buchanan must hope to buy time and figure that perhaps Duran may punch himself out. In his last defense against 
Ismael Laguna. Buchanan started slowly, but won the fight by winning the last rounds. Duran, certainly a hard man to discourage. Got some of the moves of uh, Nino Benvenuti. He's rocking, rocking ben, uh, Buchanan in there. In Buchanan's corner. Two minutes left in round two. It has been a dandy so far. Duran, besides his flashy right hand, has shown us a good left hook tonight. We know that Buchanan has all the punches. Buchanan starting to work on the body with a minute to go in round two. The heavier punches so far have been landed by Duran. A grazing right. Ten seconds to go in round two. Again, the corner of the challenger, Roberto Duran. Freddie Brown is in there, leading in from the outside. Ray Arcel, who cha trained so many world's champions, including Ezra Charles, a great heavyweight champion years ago, is the man in the center. And the Panamanian band of Mauricio Smith is whooping it up on the outside of the ring. Here's the corner of the champion, Ken Buchanan. And that's Gil Clancy, the manager of uh, Emil Griffith, that was talking to him, along with Tommy Buchanan, the father of the champion. <laughs> Round three. Referees Johnny Lobianco, one of our fine officials here in New York. Duran in the dock of trunks. Hurting Buchanan again. Buchanan in the plaid trunks. Win or lose in this one, I have a feeling that Duran will be back. Remember again, Buchanan is known as a slow starter. They're both scoring with jabs. Duran keeps that pressure on. He's always moving in. The uppercut by Buchanan, and the body punches by Duran.
The right miss, the left hook was a grazing one. A minute to go in round three. So far, it's been the challenger, Roberto Duran, piling up the points. And that good jab of Buchanan can't keep him off. A powerful left hook by the champion. Ten seconds to go in round three. <laughs> round four at Madison Square Garden, the lightweight championship of the world. Ken Buchanan, the champion, who has had a busy time defending himself. Roberto Duran, the challenger in the darker trunks. Duran from Panama, Buchanan from Edinburgh, Scotland. That's a powerful right-hand punch Duran has, and he's been scoring with it very often. And he's getting that left hook in there, too. He absolutely gives Buchanan no rest. The question is, can he keep up that pace? He hasn't gone the 15-round route. He hasn't had to most of the time. Every so often, Buchanan gets tagged with a wild right, and they must hurt. He's taking the punch as well, however. They both get wild. A minute to go in round four. Buchanan seems to be getting his boxing rhythm a little more now. Or perhaps the pace may be showing on Duran. It's been a torrid pace all the way. Ten seconds to go in round four. Duran seemed annoyed him at himself as that round came to a close. It was a very close round and certainly would be hard to score. There's the corner of Duran as Mauricio Smith and his Panamanian band and dancers are sounding in the background. The pipers who don't play that loud are probably trying to, but you can't hear them. They're drowned out. Or maybe at the moment they haven't had much to play about. 
They're hoping. The challenger has gotten off fast, no question about it. But remember, it is a 15-round bout if it goes the limit. Don Dunphy at ringside, round five. Ken Buchanan, the lightweight champion, defending his crown in the plaid trunks against Roberto Duran of Panama City. Buchanan from Edinburgh, Scotland. Again, the inevitable rush by Duran. He's keeping that pressure on. All I can say, they'd better be in shape for the long haul. Oh, he really hurt him that time. A left and two tired rights, and he's still after him. Buchanan's in trouble. He's got a sturdy chin, but he needs it. Over in Buchanan's corner again. He was whipped with that right hand punch. I don't think Buchanan has ever been in this much trouble in his whole career. Johnny Lobianco getting him apart. Buchanan is cut under the eye. He was cut also in the Laguna fight, the last one. The left eye of Buchanan has a slight cut under it. Buchanan's mouthpiece goes out. More than a minute to go in the round. Buchanan fighting back in desperation. He's in real trouble. A minute to go in this round. All I can say about Buchanan is he can take it. He has. He's game, too. This has been some round and some fight. Ten seconds to go in this round. <laughs> round eight, and Duran flew out of his corner. He's a confident young man, only 21 years old. Undefeated in 28 fights, 24 knockouts. And there's a swelling above the left eye of Buchanan. And now Buchanan is starting to trade with his man. He's got to do something. Both men in great condition. Duran is a fiery fighter, no question about it. He's starting to grimace with Buchanan. Buchanan has not had the firepower to keep him off. Round half over, round eight of a 15 rounder.
One minute to go in this round, and Buchanan's face is showing the signs of the battering. Buchanan put on a neat exhibition, but that right hand nullified all of it. Ten seconds to go in round eight. Back in the corner of Roberto Duran, who was born in Guara, Ray Panama, June 16th, 1951. He's 21 years old, 132 and a quarter pounds. Stands five feet seven. There's the corner of the challenger, who would seem to be ahead on points in this lightweight championship bout. John Dunphy at ringside, round nine. Again, Duran keeping the champion against the ropes, giving him no time to get set. That has been the story of the fight, and it's been a good fight. This is round nine, the round that Duran said he was going to knock out Buchanan. And he took one flush, a couple flush. I would say that Buchanan has one hope, and that is that Duran may have punched himself out before the end. No signs of it yet, though. Johnny Lobianco, the referee, has done a nice job in there. Buchanan looking a little better. Every time I say that, he runs into one. Half the round is over. Round nine of a 15-rounder. There you are, there's that right hand again. And in Buchanan's corner, nullifying the jabs. A minute to go in the round. Good counter punch by Buchanan. A rally by Buchanan. Ten seconds to go in the round. <laughs> round ten. 
And again, Duran on the march, but Buchanan scoring. It is a 15 round bout. Buchanan down for a flash knockdown in the first round. He bounced right up. Almost with the opening punch, he went down, bounced up, and took a mandatory eight count. No knockdown since. Buchanan had a slight cut under the left eye in the fifth round, but it has not bothered him or, or reopened. Buchanan making use of that educated left jab now. His trouble is in getting nailed with rights. Buchanan countering well as he backs away. Buchanan uh, has lost one fight in his career, and he tells it with wry humor. He says, when I win, I'm British, but when I lose, I'm Scotch. I wonder what he'll be after this fight. That jab is coming in on Duran pretty good now. And the champion's putting more power into his punches. Less than a minute to go in round 10 of a 15 rounder. Duran starting to cut the right hand now. Telegraph it. Remember Buchanan came from way behind in his fight against Laguna and won it in the last round. They're teeing off on each other. Ten seconds to go in the round. Roberto Duran's corner again. Duran is in here because on the semifinal of the Laguna Buchanan fight in last September, he fought a game little fighter named Benny Puertas and knocked him out in 113 of the first round with some terrific punching. So they looked up his record and found out he was a terrific KO artist and was undefeated. He's 128 and lost N-O-N-E, and with 24 knockouts, nine of them in the first round. That's Freddie Brown, a fine trader, swabbing off his face. Ray Arcel directly in front of him. Buchanan has gobs of Vaseline under each eye now. They've been puffing a little bit. And Buchanan is starting to open faster. I hope you've enjoyed it at home. I know we have here. Buchanan in the plaid trunks. Duran the challenger in blue trunks with a red border. They're dark if you're watching in black and white. The last round or so, Buchanan is scoring in his old time boxing style. Some of his fun punches and moves are so fast you, you may miss them. He's blocking those body blows. <laughs> 
Numerically, Buchanan is outscoring Duran now. Duran's still a harder hitter. A little bit more than a minute to go in round 11 of a 15 rounder. A grazing punch to right. That left hook was solid. Then a follow up right missed. Buchanan in trouble again. Last time he was in real trouble was the fifth round. Ten seconds to go in this round. <laughs> round 12. <laughs> and there's the fiery Panamanian, Duran, right on Buchanan again, having no respect for the champion. Duran almost as fresh as when he started. Buchanan catching Mary Watton out at the moment. A lot of people looked at Duran's record and said, who did he beat? Well, he's proved to be a good fighter. A tribute to the matchmaking ability of Madison Square Garden, Harry Markson and Teddy Brenner. bit more than a minute to go in round 12. <laughs> Solid punches by Duran, but the game, Buchanan, they come no gamer, is fighting back. He's in with a buzzsaw tonight. A minute to go in the round. He teed off that time on the champion. Need I say that Buchanan's in trouble? Ten seconds to go on the round. Duran talking to Buchanan now. Here's a replay of the last round. Look at that right hand flush on the jaw. And you can see how puffy the eyes of Ken Buchanan are. Buchanan holding on. He's tired. You can see that in the slow motion. The 
right missed, the left connected. Round 13, Duran trying for that knockout. And speaking about knockouts, I would guess that's what Buchanan would need to win this fight. I've got him behind. I think it would make a great rematch. Those jabs by Buchanan aren't quite getting in there. give a, a tribute to the gameness and durability of Ken Buchanan as the referee tells Duran to keep his punches up. That's the only warning in the whole fight, however. There was a flash knockdown. Buchanan went down briefly in the first round. the round over. Buchanan tired, no question about it. A minute to go in the round. Challenger has tremendous vitality and stamina. And now I think Buchanan's getting by on nerve alone. He's got two rough rounds ahead of him. No knockdown there. Ten seconds to go in the round. commission has gone in. Now Buchanan is getting up and going to his corner. He is in severe pain. I'm going to try to get the referee, Johnny Lobianco. There was a flurry of punches at the bell, and all of a sudden, Buchanan just caved in and went down. Gil Clancy is talking to the referee, Johnny Lobianco. And let's see what's going to happen here. The referee may be stopping the fight, I don't know. The warning whistle has sounded for round 14. It's a question of whether or not Buchanan will come out. The fight has been stopped. The fight has been stopped, and the winner and new lightweight champion of the world, 21-year-old Roberto Duran of Panama. There's pandemonium in the ring as people are trying to get in there. The police are trying to keep them out. There's a mob scene. Hey, Joe! Hey, Johnny! Johnny Lopianco! Johnny! Get Johnny. 
I'm trying to get the referee over here. I'm going to talk to Johnny Lobianco. Johnny, tell us what happened there at the end. He apparently, Lobianco. He apparently got hit just after the bell rang. I didn't think it should be counted. He was unable. Was he hit? Was he hit low? He seemed. He seemed to get hit in the lower part of his abdomen. Wasn't a low blow. I don't think it was impossible the to be hurt by a low blow without foul. All right. Yeah. Without Taylor Cup. Well, tell me. Tell me. Did you stop the fight? Yes. When he, I saw the condition that he was in, it was very, very obvious that he was in no condition to continue. Well, you're going to stop the fight anyway, even if he didn't go down. No, you were, you were not until I saw the results of the knockdown. I see. All right, thank you, John. There you have it. The referee, Johnny Lobianco, stopped the fight. Now let's see this on a replay. Let's see if we can see a low blow. This is towards the end of the round. Buchanan's back to the ropes and the referee in the way. Apparently, he's been hit already. It looked like a left took to me. Marshall Reed of the Long Island Press is here. Marshall, did you see the punch? No, I couldn't see Lenny Lewin of the Post, Ed Friel of the Newark I News. There's an excited Panamanian crowd. Did you see anything? What did you tell? Nothing. He was hurt. Let's see it, Let's see it again now. It, it could very well have been in the stomach, as the referee told us. Here's the announcement by Here Joe Bostick. Official decision. The bout terminated at the end of the 13th round. Referee Johnny Bianco rules that Buchanan is unable to finish. Therefore, the new white-faced champion of the world is Roberto Duran. It has been a pleasure for Madison Square Garden to bring you tonight's world's lightweight championship bout. This is Don Dunphy wishing you good night from Madison Square Garden.